how to suppress and defeat this dragon, this social evil and monster. Can it be uprooted and defeated? The answer is yes, a very big yes. This monster could easily be killed by means of merit. But the solution of merit is never a simple yes or no. Through merit, we can pay off to build and harness political will, parliamentarians' determinations, citizens' support, coordination, trust, and cooperation for good governance and reshape the policy arena. Unfortunately, today we are living a third world. Just because of corruption. Where corruption is systematic, which need merit to approach to a system that could take us beyond the target. Dear Chief Guest, the cost of corruption weakens the public trust, undermines the legitimacy of government, destroys democracy and nations. No doubt, but on the other hand, a single drop of merit is a unique approach, an exemplary tool and the best actor which acts to address the root causes of the evil of corruption in every given context. The merit of building trust provides advantage of windows of opportunity to stop corruption which impedes and hampers development. The perception of corruption vary from country to country and situation to situation. The common form of which include bribery, facilitation, payments, gift giving, embezzlement, favoritism, fraud, extortion and collusion, etc. To address all these forms of corruption, it is important to recognize the historical persistence of corruption. To think who control all the resources and how to liberate those resources out of their clutch. Dear Chief Guest, there is no silver bullet for fighting corruption. In fact, the law must be enforced to punish the corrupt. Citizens must be empowered to hold government accountable to build mutual trust between citizens and government. Fair, clean and meritorious decision must be made on every ground. During Second World War, when the Queen of Great Britain became disappointed, she called Churchill and asked, does the United Kingdom deliver justice to people in court? Churchill replied, yes, we do deliver justice. The Queen assures Churchill that then we can never lose this Second World War. On one occasion, Jawaharlal Nehru said that no external power can interfere until and unless the country became corrupt internally. And I cannot forget to quote Abraham Lincoln when someone advised him to be a president for a third time in order to save the United States from civil war. And he replied, I do not want such United States which need a single man. Dear Chief Guest, in our surrounding, corruption is shielded and merit is not protected. Corruption is encouraged, merit is discouraged. Corruption evolves rapidly, merit regresses day by day. Corruption progresses, merit retrogresses, and intentionally, the latest advanced, the latest advanced, advanced technology is not used to capture, analyze, and share data in every department to prevent, detect, and deter corrupt behavior and let merit rule everywhere. Corruption is a slow poison which kills the constitution, the society, the economy of developing nation, and the solution of which is only and only merit and nothing else. Dear Chief Guest, it is because of corruption that we have made the history of East India Company, the history of Bengal, and the history of Kashmir within our surrounding. And it is because of merit that today US is a superpower, Europe has technological power, and the post world. And China is emerging as a superpower of the world. I thank you all.